I did, this is the second time. It crashed the first time. Let's see if this one works. Okay, it didn't say that before. We were building an audience for you. All right. So, shh. Tammy's not here. She's upstairs, sick. She tried some drink at Costco and it, it hasn't agreed with her. I think she actually got salmonella poisoning. So she's doing horrible. And I won't go into the grossly details, but it's bad. So, and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging because we do something every Monday. So it is just me and this will be very, very quick. So I want to talk about love, what it is and what it isn't. And I'm going to take a verse from First Corinthians 13, um, 134 to be exact. And it goes, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it isn't easily angered, it keeps no records of wrongs, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres, love never fails. Knowing that, and that's a great definition of love, but there is one thing that's missing. And it's your emotional state. Nowhere does Paul, the writer of Corinthians, talk about love and how it makes you feel. He talks about what love does. And every single one of them is an actual choice that you make, that you choose how you're going to respond. You choose to be patient. You choose to be kind. You choose not to boast and not to be proud and not to be rude and not to be self-seeking. These are all things that you choose not to do or to do. And emotion has nothing, nothing has nothing to do with it. So when me and Tammy were first dating, she would go, you know, do you love me? And I would say, yes. And she was like, well, how do you love me? And I would say, because I wake up every day and I choose to. And she hated that response. The reason why she hated it, because the response that she wanted was, I love the way your hair blows in the wind and how the dust flies off of it. And I love your Hershey kiss, eye drop, eyeballs, because her eyes are brown. And our love makes earthquakes happen in other countries. That's what she wanted, that emotional, overwhelming, oogly googly love that Emily Brown has for her husband, Kyle. So the difference between that and you know, kind of society is that everyone falls out of that feeling of love, so then I must not love that person, and then they get a divorce. Well, Paul's writing the fact that love has nothing to do with emotion. Love has to have everything to do with choice. One of the biggest things that we do when we're married is that we keep a record of wrongs. We keep score. I did the dishes, he didn't do the dishes. I mowed the lawn, she didn't mow the lawn. He didn't do the dishes the way that I would do the dishes. He sucks at ironing, why do I have to I always iron? Why do I have to always vacuum? She's not that great at it. We keep score, and that's not love. That's keeping a record. And as Paul said, it doesn't keep love doesn't keep a record. So you can't really love your spouse if you're running around keeping a record of them. The other thing that that I've heard, and I heard a story of this, where a husband and wife were fighting a lot, and um, she, for some reason, borrowed his car, and he saw she saw in his car a sticky note that just said, you know, praise Tammy. Our praise Susan, I think was his wife's name. And she broke down and started crying because he actually was making a physical choice to continually praise his wife without her being there, even without her knowing. There's a few couples that we know of that have been married longer than, than we've been alive, and that's one of their secrets. I never talk down about my husband. I never talk down about my wife with anyone, with them or with anyone, the first thing out of their mouth is praise. So try that this week. Praise your spouse, even when they're not around. And stop keeping score, because love doesn't keep score. Love is patient, love is kind, and love always trusts. Those are all choices that you have to make. And honestly, the emotions come and go. Sometimes I'm oogly googly for Tammy, and the other time, and that same time, she doesn't want me to touch her. So it's, you're gonna you're gonna have that to where someone's high on the emotional love scale and the other person's in a drought, but you still wake up every day and choose to love your spouse. So homework: praise your spouse to them, and when they're not around, don't be the guy that complains about his spouse with all the other guys going around talking about bad about their wives or vice versa when the women's get around. 
and they complain about their husband, uplift your husband. Hey, my husband's great. Yes, sometimes he throws pink in with whites and we have to buy new clothes, but he's a great guy. Not that I made that mistake. All right, have a good week. Talk to you next Monday.